Hello and welcome, Kevin here. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Shaola, the latest boss in the Chamber of Arms. And then uh, this one's not too tough. I think it's just like a light equipment and character check. Uh, but let's look at my team here. Uh, my provoke tank will be Mercenary Ramza. I'll give him a fire weapon and then 100% evade. And next up is uh, Knight Delita, his chaining partner. Also a fire weapon and then some limit break fill stuff. He'll be my breaker on other turns. And then Ayaka with her usual stuff. Uh, recently got Nirvana, I'm very happy about that. And Zargabath with his stuff, he'll just be a buffer in this fight. And then uh, Marquis de Leon with 100% innate provoke. Uh, he's going to do one thing. <laughs> And then uh, Lid, who I didn't really need, uh, but she has the uh, Tetrasilphid Esper for that summon. And then Ace also with a fire weapon and then a bunch of uh, magic buffing stuff. Okay, but let's head over into the fight. And here is Shaola, or here are Shaola. Uh, they talk about their sister. Now I'm very curious to know uh, who their sister was. Alright, but first turn, um, they're going to do an instant KO attack. Uh, Marquis de Leon will take that uh, because he has the 100% innate provoke. And that'll be pretty much the only thing he does in this fight. <laughs> Um, if you had Snow, you could uh, put him in there. He has some innate provoke, or Barusa, or if you had an extra Wilhelm lying around, you could use that as well. Okay, but turn one. Uh, with Lid, let's do the break. Uh, that's the only break that she's going to do, attack and magic, uh, because uh, Delita doesn't have his limit break full yet. And then uh, Mercenary Ramso is going to provoke with his stone throw. Knight Delita will fill his limit break gauge a little bit with his attack. And then Ayaka will raise on Marquis de Leon. And then Ramza will take all of the attacks, but they're not so bad, especially since he's dodging all of the uh, physical attacks. And then with his counterattack, he will get some hits in and then get the crystals. Um, and then it's important that he has a fire weapon, uh, because then he will be able to hit the boss. If it's an elementless weapon, uh, then that will not do damage to the boss. Okay, turn two, let's put uh, King Leo away. Uh, we'll bring in Ace, because I would like to fill his limit break gauge. And then now that um, Delita... And then now that Ramza has his defenses up, and then the breaks are in, I can start chaining with uh, Ramza and Delita. And then uh, the idea with them is just to get that chain started and then uh, finish the chain with Ace's Limit Break uh, to get the damage in there. Okay, Zargabath will buff. And then with Ace, let's use the Tribeam Laser. We can break the, um, the boss's fire resistance with that. Alright, we'll do the chain. And yeah, 12% damage with that chain. I was not expecting that. Um, I don't really use their chain for damage by itself, uh, because they don't have like super high attacks, they don't have uh, like dual cast. Um, but yeah, I guess this boss really doesn't have a lot of HP. Um, so maybe I could have actually gotten all the way through with just those two. Uh, but I have Ace, so I'll use him. And then I guess this uh, part one of the boss is weak to wind. Um, but I found that fire damage uh, was just fine. Um, and then also the second part of the boss is also weak to fire, so I can just use fire all the way through. And then um, I could have gotten through this fight uh, faster, you know, if I had uh, dedicated chainers, uh, dedicated breakers, dedicated tanks. Um, but I just really like uh, Delita and Ramza together. Um, so like on some turns, you know, they're breaking or tanking, and then other turns they're chaining. Um, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time. Uh, but I want to take a little bit of time because you have to use five limit breaks uh, during the course of this fight. And then also summon the Esper Tetrasilphid. Um, so I'll be doing a little bit of um, 
stalling here in the beginning. <laughs> Alright, another strong chain from them. And then uh, Ace will use his uh, top hand. Uh, that's kind of an all-around uh, defensive uh, buff. And then also heal and then MP. Uh, one of my favorite skills of his. All of the uh, physical attacks, they will go into Ramza, that's fine. And uh, yeah, Zargabath also, I gave him a fire weapon, uh, just in case he counterattacks, and so can get in those crystals. Alright, so with Ramza, let's refresh the uh, Provoke. Uh, with Night Delita, we'll refresh the Break. And then uh, that will be a stronger break than uh, Lids that she used the first turn. And uh, yeah, this boss is not really doing a lot of damage to us. So my other three characters, they don't have a lot to do here. <laughs> uh, one nice thing about Zargabath is that with his uh, Arcadian Crest, he can remove uh, status debuffs. Um, so we'll use that on Ramza. And then uh, just for fun, we'll use Ace's Limber Break just to be one of the five that we need to use to get that uh, mission. And uh, yeah, that was big damage too, so... <laughs> now I'm getting worried uh, if I can do all of the Limber Breaks in time. Um, but just like pretty much every other boss in the uh, Chamber of Arms, uh, there's a hard um, threshold at 49%. Uh, we can get to that threshold and then we can't go beyond that, so... I don't need to worry about uh, taking down the boss by accident here. Okay, more limit break crystals. Uh, Ramza does have Entrust, um, so I could give his limit break to somebody else right away. So let's do that. Uh, we'll give it to Ace. <laughs> With the Knight Delita, we'll use his attack to fill his Limit Break Gauge for later. Um, Zargabath and Ayaka will do something. Yeah, we'll just keep using Arcadian Crest on Ramza since his stats are getting debuffed every turn. And then uh, we can use a Summon Eidolon with Ace. Uh, he had the re-raise on, so we can just do that with him. He'll come back and then fill the Esper Gauge. And then maybe next turn I will uh, summon Tetrasilphid. Okay, let's bring in Lid here. We'll summon the Tetrasilphid. Yeah, I don't need to finish, I just need to evoke that, so... Okay... And then, yes, I don't want to take down the boss to 49% here. Um, so we'll just refresh the stone throw and the uh, break. And then Ace will use Force Hand, that's his uh, defense spirit buff, and then uh, damage mitigation. Okay, no problem. Okay, so here I think I'm ready to go to 49%. Um, so let's bring in a Zargabath and King Leo. Uh, with Zargabath we'll use a Prismatic Barrier. Uh, that will prevent status debuffs uh, to my characters. And then uh, that is what is going to happen to my team after we cross that threshold, so... Uh, we'll chain with my guys. We won't get quite to 49. Uh, that's okay. The Prismatic Barrier will last, so we'll just chain again next turn. And then uh, here I was hoping with uh, King Leo to uh, go to the threshold. 
Uh, but then I remembered he didn't have a uh, fire weapon. <laughs> so no damage there. Uh, actually, I think he has no weapon at all. Alright, one more chain from Ramza and Delita, and there we go to the threshold. Okay, so we hit the threshold. Uh, the boss will say a little bit more. And there they are. Uh, the reason why I brought in Leo uh, was so that he could provoke that uh, charm on the first turn. Uh, it didn't work, uh, but it went to Ramza, who has uh, charm immunity anyway. Um, so that was fine, no problem. So we'll get rid of Leo. And we'll bring back Lid. We might be using her for a break. All right, so with Ramza, let's refresh the Provoke. And with Ayaka, we will heal and then also uh, dispel the boss. All right, that's an AoE uh, dispel, so that's good. Okay, there's the Provoke. And with, with Knight Delita, we will break the, uh, the body of the boss, the center. Decent damage there, too. <laughs> and with Zargabath, let's use his Limit Break. Um, again, just so that we can have more Limit Breaks. Um, this will also buff my team and then give uh, damage mitigation. And then uh, Knight Delita, he did his uh, single target uh, break on the body. Uh, Lid will do a um, AoE break. Uh, that's mostly just for the arms there. Okay, still not a lot of damage. Alright, I think we got through that threshold uh, pretty well. So let's bring in Ace, and then we'll do some damage to the body. Okay, we'll buff Ace. I saw he didn't have the uh, magic buff, so we'll give him that. Get the uh, chains ready. Get the limit break ready. And then I have the uh, timing for this down pretty well with this combo. Uh, we'll do the limit break, and then the moment that the laser comes out of Ace, um, I'll hit the uh, chain with uh, Ramza and Delita. And then uh, that will put the uh, limit break in a good place in the chain. And then we'll take down the body in one hit. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and then the rest of the fight's pretty elementary. Um, I'm just going to keep up the provoke. I'm going to keep breaking. And then, um, yeah, the arms don't have a lot of HP. I could probably take them all down with just uh, chains from Ramza and Delita. Uh, but uh, I'll use uh, Ace's uh, limit breaks anyways. Okay, let's uh, speed ahead uh, to the end. Alright, there goes the left arm. Not a lot of HP, I don't know. <laughs> and also not very uh, kind of tactically complex. Um, so yeah, I think anybody could beat this one. Uh, if you just have the, uh, the Provoke tank, maybe preferably with 100% evade, and then you had some uh, fire weapons, and then, um, you know, some decent spirit equipment for your guys. Um, I didn't have a magic tank, and as we saw, it wasn't really necessary. Uh, but yeah, if you had all that stuff, you should be able to beat this and get all of the missions. And I'm pretty happy to get the, uh, the Gaia Bell. Uh, that's a, a very nice weapon for a mercenary Rams, actually, um, when he is a magic tank. He cannot use stabs, which have a lot of spirit, but he can use uh, instruments. Uh, the thing about instruments, though, is that uh, most of them are two-handed. Uh, the Gaia Bell is one-handed, 
Um, so Mercenary Ramza can have that in one hand and then a shield in the other. And that's uh, that's pretty close to like his best setup. Um, so yeah, pretty happy to have that. Also, the uh, Twin Repellent is nice. That's the first uh, Insect Slayer that I have, I think. So uh, that should come in handy. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.